Before you start insulating your application, make sure you lay out the insulation materials in a clean area. You should also clean the pipe to rid surface of dirt, grease, and oil. When you are installing K-Flex clad tube insulation, start by wrapping the tube around the pipe. Insulation tubes below one and a half inch wall are designed with a PSA release liner and will seal by pinching the release liner and peeling the liner to expose the PSA. Seal ends first and work towards the center. If the insulation tube is not pre-glued, apply appropriate K-Flex contact adhesive on both walls of the seams. Allow it to become tacky and seal the tube by applying a firm pressure. Peel back the release liner from the overlap seam and apply uniform pressure to seal flap. Start at the center and work towards ends. Once you have closed and sealed the overlap flap on the K-Flex clad tube, you should apply mechanical fasteners to better secure the insulation. K-Flex rivets are included in the insulation box and should be used for this purpose. Apply five rivets for every three foot length, leaving no greater than nine inches between the rivets. Insert the rivets approximately a quarter inch from the longitudinal edge. When you have inserted the rivets, apply K-Flex clad tape on the longitudinal seam to cover the mechanical fasteners and to achieve a finished appearance. The tape strips are included in the insulation box. Use a plastic squeegee to eliminate wrinkles and air pockets. Repeat these steps for all tubes, but leave one to two inches in between sections, allowing space for when applying adhesive to connect and bond the tubes together. Before you apply the adhesive, make sure that you rotate all tubes so that the seams are facing down, away from excess UV exposure and abuse. When you are about to seal the butt seams, make sure you apply appropriate K-Flex contact adhesive on the complete elastomeric surface perimeter on both ends of tubing. Allow for the adhesive to become tacky and apply pressure by pushing tubes together to maintain vapor barrier and appearance. Repeat this step for all connecting tubes. Once all the butt joints have been sealed with contact adhesive, you should apply K-Flex clad tape to the butt seams. Align the tape with the longitudinal overlap seam. Make sure tape is lined up straight so that you can wrap the tape around the entire tube while applying pressure as you remove the PSA release liner to create a watertight application. It's important that the tape is centered so that it overlaps the OD ends of both adjoining pipes. Repeat this step for all connecting tubes. If you need to install K-Flex clad molded elbows, start by installing our K-Fit elbow. K-Flex USA offers prefabricated fittings in various thicknesses and diameters to simplify applications through considerable savings on time and material. Our K-Fit fittings are mechanically prefabricated under a high level of precision and give an excellent fit. Start by choosing a fitting whose size corresponds to the size of the pipe that needs to be insulated. Slit the K-Fit elbow by its throat using a sharp knife. Apply K-Flex contact adhesive to the inside edges of the fitting, brushing from the inside and out. Position the K-Fit elbow on the curve that needs to be insulated. Bond the glued edges together by applying firm pressure. When you have closed the fitting by bonding the glued edges together, you need to apply the appropriate K-Flex contact adhesive to the edge of the fitting and the adjoining tubes and bond them with firm pressure. Once the K-Fit elbow is in place, you can apply the K-Flex clad molded elbow. Start by choosing the correct size. You can find a size chart on our website, www.kflexusa.com. Take your molded elbow and push one tack into the outside layer on the extreme edge of each leg using Heiko's number two white stainless steel tacks. Position the molded elbow over the installed elastomeric fitting. Note that on the horizontal piping, the outside layer of the molded elbow must be facing down towards the floor or ground to provide a watershed. It's important that you use K-Flex 120 contact adhesive to seal the cover. Make sure edges are smooth and flat and that the inner edges overlap, allowing for proper alignment. In case you need more tacks after you have applied the molded elbow onto the elastomeric fitting, 
Use Heiko's number two white stainless steel tacks to help the adhesive set and create a seal. Apply KFlex 120 contact adhesive over the tacks to seal the punctured areas. Once you have applied KFlex 120 contact adhesive, you should apply KFlex clad tape to the seams between the molded fitting and the connecting tube. This will seal the seams and create a watertight application. If your application calls for a K-Flex clad molded tee, start by installing our K-Fit tee using an appropriate size tee. Slit the K-Fit tee using a sharp knife. Apply K-Flex contact adhesive to the inside edges of the fitting, brushing from the inside and out. Position the tee on the cross piping. When you have closed the fitting by bonding the glued edges together, you need to apply the appropriate K-Flex contact adhesive to the edge of the fitting and the adjoining tubes and bond them with firm pressure. Bond the glued edges by applying a firm pressure. Once the K-Fit tee is in place, you can apply the K-Flex clad molded tee. Start by choosing the correct size. You can find a size chart on our website, www.kflexusa.com. Take your molded tee and push one tack into the outside layer on the extreme edge of each leg using Heiko's number two white stainless steel tacks. Position the molded tee for the installed elastomeric fitting. Note that on the horizontal piping, the outside layer of the molded tee must be facing down towards the floor or ground to provide a watershed. It's important that you use K-Flex 120 contact adhesive to seal the cover. Make sure edges are smooth and flat and that the inner edges overlap, allowing for proper alignment. In case you need more tacks after you have applied the molded tee onto the elastomeric fitting, Use Heiko's number two white stainless steel tacks to help the adhesive set and create a seal. Apply K-Flex 120 contact adhesive over the tacks to seal the punctured areas. Once you have applied K-Flex 120 contact adhesive, you should apply K-Flex clad tape to the seams between the molded fitting and the connecting tube. This will seal the seams and create a watertight application. For applications subject to heavy moisture, such as washdown areas, KFlex USA recommends caulking all pipe seams. For refrigeration and all other below ambient applications, KFlex USA recommends that you install vapor stops at all insulation terminations or interruptions. This includes supports, valves, and flanges. Start by adhering the insulation directly to the pipe using a two inch strip of contact adhesive or sealant to maintain closure. Insulation tape can also be used for this purpose. On straight runs, install vapor stops every 18 feet or 5.4 meters to minimize moisture problems. For more information, please reference our installation manual that you can download from our website at www.kflexusa.com. You can also contact KFlex Technical Support at technicalsupport at kflexusa.com.